guys, Pixelmon118 here, and today I'm here to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog. This video is totally not going to be just a nerd's rant. With that being said, oh, this Sonic Mania game right here, this this exact one that has this this cartridge, this exact game right here, it's, it's a good it's a good game. Now, uh. I will admit it does have some bad parts in it, like using the friendship, like using the power of friendship trope, like twice or three times in the story. However, it does, uh, it does do its purpose. So there's a lot more I like about this game than I dislike about this game. Like I could see why people don't like it, but I don't see why people are being so critical about like it being a horrible game because it's not a horrible game whatsoever. In fact, it's an entertaining game. Like I like the uh, Avatar parts and I like the Sonic parts. I will admit playing Green Hill Zone one million times after like gets boring after a while because I've played like a lot of Sonic games and Green Hill Zone is like in every single Sonic game. So playing Green Hill Zone in a 2D Sonic environment is getting a little bit old. And I feel like um Sonic Team could stop relying on 2D Sonic because 3D Sonic stages are a lot more entertaining to me nowadays because if I were to play 2D Sonic, I'd play Sonic Mania or the original Sonics. Those games are amazing. So I'd go play those games if I wanted to play 2D Sonic. So, you know, maybe you guys focus more on the 3D Sonic aspect of things. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you get to make your own avatar. And he has a wisp. Well, it's called a wisp, but you get like fire and electric whip and stuff. It's just a bunch of powers you can use. Now, I would say gimmick, but however, the uh, the titan of video games himself, Mario, does rely on gimmicks in his game sometimes. You know, maybe uh, taking over enemies with your hat. Now, I will admit, uh, taking over enemies with hats are probably cooler than having just another character that plays similar to the main game. But uh, I really only enjoyed two in transformations in Mario Odyssey, or like two or three, because most of them seemed either tacked on or just one use, so then you never see in the game again. Like those one guys with sunglasses that would just go up and down. Now, a lot of the complaints I see about Sonic Forces is that the Sonic stages, uh, the modern Sonic stages and the Avatar stages play very similar. And I don't really see that because in Sonic stages, it's kind of similar like uh, you as in a 3D area that can sometimes change to 2D while you have to run through it. But then again, I, I don't really know what else they would have done in the difference of the stages because uh, classic Sonic stages are 2D. Uh, there's three different types of stages in the game. Classic Sonic stages are 2D. Modern Sonic are 3D and uh, sometimes 2D and so are Avatar stages. But the Avatar stages you get your Wisp instead of using a dash attack and with the Sonic you use a mega dash attack. So yeah, on some levels you do work with both Sonic and the Avatar and you can use your Wisp and boosts in the uh, main storyline. Now this game had probably some of my most favorite bosses in like, uh, I would say any game on Nintendo Switch but then again Zelda Breath of the Wild had some pretty fun bosses. And even Mario Maker to an extent, I like the final Bowser stage, not the actual main boss fight, but whenever you're trying to evade the falling castle and you get to take over Bowser, that was amazing in the game. Especially because I'm not expecting it, it's just like you take over Bowser and you're, ah! Okay, uh, that, that's going to be the Mario Odyssey review, not freaking a Sonic Forces review. But this game does have some really fun boss fights. I like the first boss fight with Infinite. Uh, do you see? Okay. <clears throat> mini, mini rant in my rant video. See? Uh, Metal Sonic is... Freaking featured on the front of the box. Metal Sonic is one of my favorite Sonic characters, if not my favorite Sonic character. He, his boss battle is... It's not bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just don't realize how stupid I probably look. But his boss battle is not bad whatsoever. It's just not as good as freaking any of the other boss fights. Actually, Eggman's boss fight with uh, Classic Sonic was okay, but it was probably my least favorite of the entire game. Metal Sonic was good, too, I guess. So one thing I could have seen that they could have done to spice up the gameplay and maybe made it a bit more exciting for people who don't like it is maybe make like a tail stage or a knuckle stage or something. But if you're a Sonic fan and you like the Speed Trilogy, as people call it, and you like any Sonic game, I'd say grab this game. It's a uh, uh, pretty much on clearance pretty much everywhere I went. It was $26 when I bought it. Uh, original little selling price was $40. I'd buy it for $40. Uh, full retail, it's, it's kind of a short game. I don't know if I'd go full retail for it, but definitely $40. <laughs> Oh no, what does that sound? They found me. I need to run. Oh crap! Oh no, they're in my house! I better- I gotta go outside! Ah! Da! Da! Don't type this in! Ah! Oh no! 
look, they're still gaining on me. I need to run faster, but how? I should have known. I need to unlock my understanding speed. 